How expensive is it to live in Seoul? Pretty inexpensive. House, now I'm in with China Airbnb. I'm spending like 5000 for one month. Like just to live every day, maybe work five days a week, a nine to five, you probably need like three to 4000 How much do you pay for dorm? $4,000. Where are you from and how long have you been in Korea? I'm from Italy. I've been here like 20, for 20 days, yeah. And how has that 20 day experience been for you so far? It's pretty good, but a little bit stressful, like because of school, I study Korean language. So it's pretty difficult to adapt in Seoul life because it's uh, always like run, 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 always. How expensive do you think living in Seoul is? I think it's pretty expensive, yeah, because of house. And uh, if you go out always and eat outside like barbecue or <laughs> restaurant like this, yeah, you can spend a lot of money. But if you eat like me, sometimes I go in market, yeah, and it's just cheap food, snack. Yeah, you can afford it well. Can you give me like your price breakdown, like per week, how much you spend? On transportation, zero because I go by walk. Yeah, but food, I spend a lot of money with food. Like I think at week now, eighty euro. House now I'm in with China Airbnb. I'm spending like five thousand for one month. Five thousand euro. Five thousand? Yeah. Five, no, five hundred. Five hundred. <laughs> five hundred. Sorry, it's sorry, sorry. Compared in like to back home, like Italy, like how much you spend on food, transport, and all that? With food, yeah, we spend a lot too because if it depends. If you cook at home, like. Uh, you don't spend that much, but if you go to a restaurant, I think it's more expensive than here. I think cook at home here is pretty expensive because if I can't cook Korean, so I have to cook Italian and buy Italian food is expensive. So how much do you spend on groceries? If I have to cook like pasta, I can spend like maybe five euros. In Italy, I spend like pasta, I can spend like two euro maybe because pasta is like one euro, tomato is like one euro, so. You said you were learning Korean right now. Where are you from and how long have you been in Korea? Uh, I'm from New York. I've been in Korea for one week now. And how has that experience been for you so far? Korea is a, definitely a crazy, fun country, definitely one of a kind, definitely one of my favorite trips I've ever been on. Uh, I'd highly recommend it to anyone thinking about going to Korea. How expensive is it to live in Seoul? All right, so compared, I've actually been traveling Asia for about a month. So compared to the other Asian countries, it's a little more expensive. But compared to New York, uh, to my fellow New Yorkers, to my Americans, to uh, some of the more expensive cities in the world, I think it's definitely a little bit cheaper. Uh, getting around is super cheap. Uh, living here, I uh, got some of the nicest Airbnbs for about 50 to $70 a day. So I think that's pretty good on the USD end. And think about it, if you want to stay for a month, that's, uh, I get a nice place for about a month, you probably wouldn't have to spend more than like $1,000 to $1,500. So I think as a New Yorker, it's cheap, but I can understand why other people might think it's expensive. Can you give me like the, your price breakdown like for the past week you've been here? So my price breakdown, I've been spending about $75 a day on Airbnb, sometimes cheaper, sometimes more expensive. Uh, a good example is yesterday I spent $100, tomorrow I'm spending $32 at Airbnb. Uh, Seoul is a great city to move around in, so I've been staying in different areas every day. I spent first, my first three days in Gangnam, that was about $75 a day. I spent three days in Songsu, that was, a, I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> uh, my Korean is not the best. I spent about three days in Songsu, that was about $60 a day. And my last three days are here in Hongdae and that is gonna be about $40 a day. So definitely really cheap compared to New York. In New York, you're not even getting like a hostel for that much. And for food? I am a guy who eats a lot, but I eat like once or twice a day tops. So every single time I'm sitting down, I'm spending about 20 to 30,000 won. I've made a lot of friends here in my one week. And when we, even when we split the bill, we're maybe about 15 to 20,000 won each. So I would consider that kind of cheap, but uh, Korean food is amazing. So I'm not afraid to spend a little bit more if it means I get to taste some authentic Korean food here in Korea. How much do you think you need to live in Seoul? Like just to live every day, maybe work five days a week, a nine to five, you probably need like three to 4,000, but then that's very comfortable, I would say. Uh, you're not doing anything crazy at that point. You're eating every day, you're paying your rent, you're saving some on the side. I really don't think you need more than, even as a traveler, three, $4,000 for a whole month. Cause I've been fine on just at this point, like about $1,500 for a little more than a week. And I'm out here kind of buying clothes, eating at nicer restaurants, staying at nicer places. So if you're kind of on the more moderate side and you want to save a little bit, you definitely don't need that much. For, you know, like your solo travelers, other solo travelers out there, like what are the tips, you know, you, you can actually like, you know, give them, give the ones to, you know, like make a trip like to Korea. I think personally, I was really afraid of actually coming here to Seoul because I know that's a homogenous society. 
Uh, I'm darker, I, blonde hair, this kind of like the style. I know it's a more conservative country. I was definitely really afraid of that, but I love how the people since the moment I got here have actually welcomed that and they like me because I'm different. So I would definitely say don't be afraid. People here are the nicest people I've met on earth, uh, whether it's the hospitality, whether it's just tips, whether it's people helping me out. So I'm super thankful to the people of Korea for that. So definitely, definitely don't be afraid to just be a little outgoing, say hello, uh, strike a conversation. The people here do speak really good English too, so the language barrier has never been an issue. Uh, Google Translate will definitely be your best friend. I think the food is great. I definitely think that if you come here with an open mind, you are going to have the time of your life. And you just need to have that positive mindset, be willing to meet people, be willing to just go out of your comfort zone, and I promise you, you will have an amazing time here in Seoul. Could you guys briefly introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Raquel. I'm Sage. Where are you from? Florida. Same, Florida. So today's question is, how expensive is it to live in Seoul? Pretty inexpensive. I think in bills, generally, like $200. But everyday stuff, like, you can have a meal for, like, $2 if you really wanted to. Really inexpensive, like, GS, super easy. Yeah, like, it's, it's not bad at all. Agreed. I find that living in the States was way more expensive, especially, like, you have all those additional bills that here, you have the public transportation, there's a lot that you end up saving rather than spending here. I live here by the way though. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like cats to point that out. Can you give me like a brief, you know, like breakdown like of your price per week living in Seoul, like on food, transport, all that, all that stuff? Per week transport, probably like 3,000 won. Maybe I do a lot of walking to and from work, so I don't have to do much on transportation, food. It could be anywhere from maybe like $10 a meal to $2 a meal if I'm being, you know, lazy or not, if I want to cook every day, if I want to order in. So very inexpensive. Other stuff, that's it. Yeah, that's kind of it. I don't do too much spending personally, so. And I, like how much do you think you spend in a week? Yeah, like $50 maximum. Like that's a that's like a bad week. Like yeah, I don't spend much. How much do you spend on groceries? $150 and that can, I can stretch that for two and a half weeks. I definitely spend more than her. <laughs> I probably spend like 100, 100 to 200 a week. Um, but the groceries last a long time. So if I spend money on groceries, that lasts me for a while. Where do you think, you know, like most of your money actually like go out on? Like what expense? Probably like just shopping or going out at night. But I kind of try to keep that on the weekend. I like shopping. So I normally buy like clothes and accessories. But other than that, it's the same as her. Like the weekend, like I'll drink on the weekend. I like going to cafes a lot. But all of that is super cheap. So it doesn't really add up. How much do you think you need to live in Seoul? I think you should save up money prior to coming here if you are a person that likes comfort in your finances. Like me personally, I made sure I had like $10,000 saved before I got here because I didn't want to come and not know what to expect. But if you came here with like, you know, a small amount of money, I think given some like discipline and like not going anywhere, you could you could be pretty comfortable if that was your situation. I think coming here and having to find your own place to live, that can be expensive, you know, but minus those kind of expenses that maybe in the States that we were used to, like cars, insurance, all that kind of stuff, it's pretty affordable, I think. Could you briefly introduce yourself? My name is Dima. I am from Russia. I live in Seoul. I'm a student here. How long have you been living in Seoul? Since October. So today's question is, how expensive is it to live in Seoul? If you compare it to Moscow, where I used to live, it's a little bit more cheap. Can you give me like a quick price breakdown of like how much you pay for rent and, you know, like your food expense and all that? For food, I would spend like 20,000 won per day. Monthly, it will be 600,000, maybe maybe less. I live in the Gosha one, so it's like 400,000 per month. It depends on each month, like if I buy clothes or I, if I don't. Monthly, like thousand dollars. If there's any one advice you can give to, you know, like other foreigners like wanting to come to Korea, how much do you think they need? to live in Seoul, maybe for like a month, a week travel. If you travel and it, you're gonna stay here for like a month, you probably will gonna spend more than usual because you will need to do the experiences and like go out and stuff. So I, I think you will need like $2,000. Where are you from and how long have you been living in Korea? My name is Ava. I'm from the United States and I've been in Korea for two weeks. How expensive? Is it to live in Seoul? I would say it's cheap compared to where I'm from. In America, um, things are much cheaper compared to where I'm from. Where are you from again? North Carolina. Um, in, it's a city called Charlotte. So can you break down like your week's expense? 
hearing soul? Yeah, I can try my best. So I live in, I'm here, I'm here as a student. I live in a dorm, um, so I've already paid for my dorm, so I don't have any like rent or utilities or any expenses like that. Um, I do pay for the subway, which I got here two weeks ago, and I think I've put 20 or $30 on my subway card, and I still have money left over. I would say the most expensive thing is food. When I go out, it normally costs me anywhere from like 7 to $10 to eat. I do also cook at home occasionally because I have a kitchen in the upstairs level of my building and it's cheap to go to the convenience store so I would say every time I go to the grocery store it costs me around 30 to 40 dollars for the week when I eat out it costs like seven to ten dollars unless I go to like a cafe and get like a drink and a dessert and all that then it's more like 15. And how much do you pay for dorm? Because I'm staying for seven months the full seven months cost uh four thousand dollars. How much money do you think you need to live in Seoul? I would say it depends on how long you're staying if you're coming here without a job as a student I would save at least for a six month period, at least $10,000. Just to make sure that you can pay for everything that you need, like furniture if you need it, or you know, other house, like toilet paper, things like that, maybe comforters, and then obviously food and transport. But I think around $10,000 is a safe bet for like six or seven months. Could you briefly introduce yourself? I'm Harry, from, uh, from England, from a place called Bath. How expensive is it to live in Seoul? Oh, it's a lot cheaper compared to like London and that. Just going down like, restaurants and that I'm paying like half the price so what I would be in like London or Bath. You've been here for five days like how much have you spent so far? I, I don't know how much but like for example like a meal in London might cost like 25 quid but here it's about like 15. How much do you think you need to live in Seoul? I don't know I'm not too sure how much the house prices are about yeah 30 to 40k salary. Where are you from and how long have you been living in Korea? Uh, I'm French and I'm living here since one year. Where in France are you from? Bordeaux. How expensive is it to live in Seoul? This is expensive for the home, house. House is really expensive in Seoul. So how much do you pay for rent and what is a deposit? I don't have deposit. I, I just found something without deposit. I'm a lucky girl. Just for a month you can pay in dollar, maybe uh, $500 just for one month and one room. How much do you spend per week in Seoul? Can you just break it down for me? If this is your first time in Seoul, maybe you can spend $500 and $800. But if you just live here since one year like me, in one month you can just spend uh, $1,000.